Welcome to Cozy Meal Studios. I'm G, and today we are cooking up some cozy and delicious food. Let's make shoestring fries. Now, shoestring fries are not like your typical French fry. They're thin and crispy like potato chips, but shaped like a French fry. It's kind of the best of both worlds. But before we begin, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell for more recipes from us. To get started, let's first wash and peel the potatoes. And when you're peeling, you want to make sure that you remove any dark spots that you might find. Next, prepare a large bowl of ice water mixed with white vinegar. Then use a mandolin fitted with a julienne blade, which is how we get those thin french fry type slices, to then slice the potatoes into matchsticks. Now take your sliced potato and place it into the prepared ice water and let it soak for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Once that finishes soaking, you want to remove the potato from the ice water using a strainer and place it on a lint-free kitchen towel to dry. Alternatively, you could use a salad spinner, and if you do this method, then after spinning the potatoes, just make sure you dry them with a kitchen towel to remove any remaining moisture. It's important for the potatoes to be completely dry, because any moisture will cause dangerous oil splatters when frying. In a Dutch oven or a heavy bottomed pot, heat at least 4 to 5 inches of oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the oil is hot, place the potatoes a handful at a time into the hot oil. Stir constantly until the potatoes are evenly golden brown, which should be about three minutes. Once the potatoes are crispy and cooked through, use a spider to remove the potatoes onto a wire rack and season immediately with garlic salt. Repeat this process with the remaining potatoes and eventually you will have a whole heaping batch of delicious shoestring potatoes. And all that's left to do is garnish with parsley and serve with ketchup or your favorite dipping sauce. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more recipes from Cozy Meal Studios. If you want the full recipe, check out the description box below or head to CozyMeal.com slash recipes where you will certainly find this recipe and so much more. Thank you so much for watching and if you're looking for more Cozy Meal recipes, be sure to check out our other videos. See you again soon.